The instrument panel on the Viano Type 639 has to be removed. However, before you get started on the screws, clips and connectors, you have to disconnect the battery. It's located in the driver's underseat box. Once you've disconnected the battery, you can work in safety. Time to begin with the covers below the instrument panel. Use a cordless drill to remove the two screws. Repeat this step on the passenger side. Then remove the cover on that side. For the next steps, you require a long key and a suitable screwdriver in order to remove the air nozzles. First, remove the upper grille cover using the long key. Now, remove the screw located behind the grille. Now you need some manual dexterity. Every air nozzle has five catches which need to be levered out simultaneously using the screwdrivers. We'll use this removed air nozzle to show you where the five catches are and how you have to use the screwdriver on each one. Please note that the catch located on the upper left can only be accessed from the underside of the instrument panel. When all of the catches have been pressed simultaneously, then you can easily remove the nozzle. Repeat the steps on the passenger side. Next, remove the coverings in the coverings on the sides of the foot space. Unclip the coverings with a long key and pull the coverings out to the rear. Then repeat this on the passenger side as well. You also have to unclip the side covering on the instrument panel. Then you can remove the demister nozzles for the front windscreen, using the long key once again. Unclip the nozzle with the long key and then remove the screw which you can then see. For the second demister nozzle you also have to pay attention to the holder strap. Now continue with the covering on the A column. You have to unclip the covering beginning from the top. Then remove the screw on the check strap. During reinstallation, please note that you have to tighten this screw to four Newton meters. You also have to remove the covering on the passenger side A column. Once you've done this, you can unclip the warning light for the Parktronic system. Now remove the electrical connector plug. Then open the storage tray and remove the two rubber stoppers. Beneath them, you'll find two screws, which you also have to remove. Then you can remove the storage tray, pulling it out into the rear, and then disconnect the wiring for the Parktronic display. In the next step, remove the air nozzle in the middle. You need to remove five screws. Two on the left, one in the upper middle, and two on the right. Then disconnect the connector. Next, remove the electric wiring for the control and operating unit from the guides.
Now you can take the control and operating unit out of its holders and disconnect the connectors. And remove that. Now it's time for the command. Unclip the cover frame using the long wedge. Here are the next four screws which you need to remove. Pay attention to the connectors on the rear side of the command which you have to disconnect. Now you can remove the command. Use this screwdriver insert to remove the screws on the left and right hand side of the steering wheel. This loosens the airbag unit enabling you to remove it. Turn it 90 degrees and then remove this connector. Please note that the airbag must be stored separately. Store the airbag with the exit surface facing upwards and do not expose it to temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius. Once you've removed the airbag, continue disassembling the steering wheel. You'll need help from a second person. One person has to hold the steering wheel in place while the other loosens the central screw. Ensure that the steering wheel is in the middle position. Then you can continue removing the central screw without additional help. Once you've done that, carefully feed the wiring and electrical connectors through the hole in the steering wheel. The contact spiral on the steering wheel is now exposed and can be removed. Remove three screws. Loosen the first screw until it protrudes from the contact spiral. This prevents the contact spiral from turning. Now you can easily remove the other two screws. Now disconnect the electrical connectors and remove the contact spiral. Now the steering angle sensor is exposed and also has to be removed. You also need to disconnect these connectors. Next, remove the screw on the cruise control touch switch. In order to be able to remove this, you also need to unscrew the two screws on the covering below the steering wheel. The next screw which you need to remove is on the air duct. It is somewhat difficult to reach as it is located behind the covering. Please note that the switch for the clutch pedal also has to be removed from vehicles with a manual transmission. Next, disconnect the electrical connectors from the control unit for the electronic ignition. Then feed the wiring through the steering column. Now you can remove the touch switch. Next, we turn our attention to the combi switch. Remove the two screws. Then disconnect the connectors here as well, and then you can remove the combi switch. After that, you unclip the covering on the steering column. Press the clips together with a pair of long nose pliers. Then remove the covering. You now need this claw socket to disassemble the ignition rosette. Unscrew the rosette and remove it. 
During reinstallation, please note that you have to tighten the rosette to 7 Nm. 